Hello Scorpio, we're getting started with your love reading. So Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Scorpio. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to the channel if you are new and thank you for coming back if you're not. Cut of the deck, look at this Scorpio, what are you up to? Ten of Pentacles, legacy relationship, one in which you're both invested mutually with goals and plans for the future, it's stability, the Ten of Coins, it's Virgo energy, you're willing to do the work and so is your partner. Look at what we have here on the other side. The Fool card, a new beginning in love. So this could be the return of an old lover. We don't know that yet. Or it could be a brand new love relationship. So what we're going to do, Scorpio, is we're going to look at your energy, their energy, the energy that is bringing the two of you together. So let's get started. Let's see. So your energy is Seven of Cups. You're keeping your options open. You're not sure quite what choice you will make in love at this time. That's also fantasizing. It's also having dreams. And look at what we have here. Flip through the deck. We have the lover's card. So you will try to make a decision about this lover that is kind of a combination of fantasy and reality. But you're, I wouldn't say you're well-rounded at this time with that Seven of Cups. You really want a win in love. We're seeing that that's Leo energy, Gemini energy, and Pisces energy, or Scorpio energy. So Scorpio, here you are in, in your reading. So, you know, it looks like you've released something in the past. You've healed from something. We get this beautiful energy of the star card. But right now, you are feeling the urge to merge. You want passion. You want to remember everything in your life that you know, that you had to walk away from uh, a while back. So for many of you, this has been, you've been in the healing mode for some time now, and you're really striking out wanting a win. The person that you're dealing with or interested in at this time is also in healing mode. Six of Swords is the minor arcana version of the Star card. So your person that's Aquarius energy, they're trying to stay cool, calm, and collected, but they feel very alone. They're very much more in the turbulent waters where you're really in a calm, serene state of mind, in love. The strength card says that they're probably still carrying the torch for the person that they left behind. I think, you know, you're paying attention to that also. You feel as though this person is an option, but, you know you feel as though they might still be in love with the person that they were with. And that is what I'm seeing so far. What else is going on? How does a person feel about Scorpio? Okay, so we have um, the energy of the devil card. So your person is very nervous about any kind of a relationship with anybody at this time. It doesn't look like it's uniquely you. They feel as though they're still on the hook to their former lover, the person they've left behind. And what we're seeing is that they're still, um, that person still has your lover or your love interest. They have power over them, which is unhealthy. The Page of Pentacles says that you may be dealing with somebody who is younger. What else do we have here? The Ace of Swords. Your person knows what the truth is. They know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They really want a relationship in which there's equal give and take. So let's look and see what the messages of love say about this connection. This looks like a new love opportunity for both of you. So Scorpio, what is the energy? Twin Flame. This is a divine, wow, divine relationship. Twin Flame. Interesting, okay. How do they feel? What are they feeling in this energy? What is your person of interest feeling in this energy? Okay. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So they're in a very sort of playful mood. You know, they're, they do not want to uh, take anything too seriously. They want to play and have fun. Your energy is acceptance, okay? So that is everything happens for a reason. So you're open to that. You're open to this energy. And the timing is not quite right as their energy, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. Well, let's see what the mutual energy is between the two of you. So what do we have here for our Scorpio friends in love? Oops, a daisy. 
Okay. So one person has, well, both of you have marriage in mind. Both of you have romance in mind. And then what do we have here? The Ace of Wands, a lot of passion. So both of you want the same things. When we get the Knight of Cups, that is a big cup of love. We have an Ace of Wands, which is, you know, a lot of love making. So let's clarify, though. Let's clarify the energy here in terms of where the two of you can go with this. So let's look at these. The Hierophant is clarified by the Four of Swords, healing again. Lots of healing going on between the two of you. But Scorpio, you're more advanced than your person is. You're further down the pike. Ooh, nice! This is Taurus energy. So this could turn into a long-term affair. The Knight of Cups has the capacity. That energy says that both of you are capable of long-term commitment. The Four of Cups, though, says that this is probably, this is the card of boredom. You know, it says that you both are in this place of just, let's keep it light, let's keep it breezy, let's keep it playful. You know, both of you are very um, nervous about the relationship for different reasons. Your person feels as though they haven't gotten over their, their past person. If their past person wiggled their finger at them, they would go running back because we do have the devil card here. That person from their past could still bring them back in. In fact, they're still holding out for that a little bit. Go slowly, okay. So the mutual energy for both of you in this connection is to go slowly. What else? It is lean on your inner circle during this time. So both of you, and especially the person you're dealing with, really wants to have the support that the connection could offer. But it is mutual energy, so both of you are looking for the same thing here. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So what I'm seeing here is a relationship that is really in the fun stages. It may not become something serious. But let's look and see what the Oracle of the Fairy, the Heart of Fairy Oracle says. Let's see, what are the chances for something more serious? Because you're really ready for it. They are not ready for it. So let's take a look and see what is in your person's energy, Scorpio. Because you, you know, you want to have a victory in love. And you've released all the pain. You're really ready for it. And you're willing to keep your options open. But let's see why we have the Six of Swords for this person in the past. Let's clarify this energy for you. The song. Well, they were really in love with their person. So they didn't necessarily, they didn't want the breakup from what I can tell. The strength card. What is a strength card? Tink. Ah, they're still really kind of stubbornly holding on to this energy because of the devil card. Okay. They're still in love with their person. Yeah, the blessing. So what I'm getting here, Scorpio, is it would be very difficult, and I think you can see that, to really do anything other than have fun with this person. The maiden energy is coming in reverse, so it does show that your person is still tied and connected to somebody. It's just not really giving you a big, the paradox, sure, they, and they know it. Your person really likes you. You know, they really feel very romantic when they're with you. Okay, so let's see here. We also have the hero. So the person that they left in the past was somebody that they may have rescued. They had a codependent relationship with them. So, you know, I don't think that there was equal give and take, but it does speak to the fact that they want to be this person's hero. Let's look and see what the advice from you is at this time in terms of this connection. Because you have the lover's card, so you are in a different energy altogether. Broken open, whoa, you are really ready for love. You have, you're putting, your guard is gone. You are totally comfortable, Scorpio, with being open. You are ready for love. Smoke and mirrors, okay. So you definitely feel as though this person has, is really not what they appear to be, or at least not in the healing energy 
that you thought that they were in when you started sort of talking to them, flirting with them. The royal you, you're going to take care of yourself, you're going to stand in your power. You know, your person does think that you're really exquisite. Let's see who, you know, this, let's look at the lover's card and the, the cards as they apply only to Scorpio. Let's clarify to see if there's someone else coming in because right now the only person on the board here is the Knight of Cups. Oops, so let's see what that card is. It just flew off. Okay. Tower moment. Okay. So basically, you're really seeing the truth of the matter. The epiphany is here. You know, so we're really seeing you not, you know, it's sort of, you don't have a lot of fantasy or a lot of illusion about this person, but you'll have fun with them. You're playing your, your cards close to your chest. You are on the roll. You are heading towards a soulmate experience, and we have an emperor coming in. This person is not an emperor. They are a knight of cups. So, Scorpio, for most of you, you are in a position of dating a number of people, but you're looking for a victory, you're keeping your options open, and you're really being very blunt. You're throwing caution to the winds, you're being very honest about who you are. You know, we're really seeing this energy that says that winner, winner, chicken dinner, what's going to bring, you know, releasing somebody from the past and not holding this person in sort of any kind of accountability to you because there is none. So it does show that you're letting this person go, you're moving forward, you know, it does look like you have this emperor coming in. This person is probably too much of a lightweight, but you know, hey, we can have fun. And that's what it looks like you did with this page of wands. It looks like you're taking it with a grain of salt and you are closing out this cycle to be with an emperor that's inbound. Inbound, <laughs> landing at the airport. One plane is taking off and the other one is landing. So we're seeing the death card in terms of this connection. And what do we see for the emperor card? Tell us something about the emperor energy, spirit. Yep, we have guarded, guarded, guarded optimism. So let's see what we have here for the message from the Emperor. So what about the Emperor energy and what this might mean for Scorpio and love, vulnerability? Oh, you can be completely open to the Emperor. This Emperor is in a much better place than the Knight of Cups. So your choice is definitely... You've already made it really clear that you're not going to hang out in the energy with the person who's still vulnerable. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Oh, I like this. Scorpio. Emperor energy is ruled by Mars. Your co-ruler is Mars and the other one is Pluto. So you're really ready. Trust. It's safe to trust the situation. So the first person you came to ask about was this person. They don't seem to be anything more than a fling. It's not the real thing. It's a fling, but you have the real thing coming in, Scorpio, with this emperor energy. It hasn't it's not fully developed at all. You're just beginning, but I'm really excited for you because I think that you're going to have a beautiful relationship in which, you know, you've done the work. You've done all of the mental, emotional, you know, the heart chakra, all your chakras are lined up and you are really ready for something new. And it says vulnerability, passion, and trust are here for you with the emperor. All right. Bye-bye, Scorpio. Take care. Thank you.